inverse of a matrix. So I have a matrix A, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so and we want to find the inverse of this matrix. The idea of inverse means if we multiply the A with the A inverse, we will get a an identity matrix. Okay, so I, identity matrix I. So uh, here we have a two by two matrix. That means two rows and two columns. And the identity matrix will also be a two by two matrix, one, zero, zero, one. So we want to find the inverse of this matrix A. And actually there is a formula for A inverse uh, the, to find the inverse of a matrix. That is one divided by determinant of A, one divided by determinant of A, and we have to do something with the original matrix. That is, we have to switch the five and the two, okay? So five here and two here. And the other two elements, we just, take the negative of it. So 5, negative 3, negative 4, 2. This is the inverse of this matrix. Okay. So this is the formula. 1 divided by determinant of A and we switch swap the diagonal elements and the other two elements we change the sign to negative. So um, we, we have to find the determinant here. Determinant of A is equal to 5 multiplied by 2 or 2 multiplied by 5 minus 4 multiplied by 3. We know that is the determinant that is equal to 10 minus 4 into 3, 12. That is minus 2. Negative 2 is the determinant of A. In case if the determinant is 0, which will happen, there is no inverse for such a matrix. Okay. And the, there is a name um, um, singular matrix, but in this case we don't have to think about that because you know this is not a, this is a non-zero value. We know one divided by zero is not possible, so determinant should be a non-zero number. Then we have an inverse. So one divided by a inverse is equal to one divided by minus two. Uh, 5 minus 3 minus 4 2 okay this is the inverse of this matrix I'm going to write it uh, so 5 by 2 negative 5 by 2 because we know we can actually multiply a scalar with all the elements right we can multiply a matrix with a scalar. So this is what this is actually actually a scalar value. We can actually multiply the scalar value with all the elements, right? So minus 5 by 2, uh, minus 3 by minus 2, minus 3 by minus 2, that is 3 divided by 2, okay? And minus 4 divided by minus 2, that is 2. Min 2 divided by minus 2, that is uh, minus 1. 2 divided by minus 2, that is minus 1. This is the A inverse, okay? For that matrix, this is the inverse of this matrix. We find the in inverse by the formula 1 divided by determinant of A and then we take the original matrix and swap the diagonal elements and the other two elements just make it negative, okay? We can actually verify uh, what we have found by actually multiplying this matrix with the original matrix. So A multiplied by A inverse is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5 multiplied by A inverse. What is the inverse of the A? Minus 5 by 2, 3 by 2, 2, minus 1. So let's perform the multiplication of these two matrices. Okay. Uh, and apologies for my bad handwriting. First row with first column. So is equal to uh, first row with first column. 2 multiplied by minus 5 by 2 uh, plus 3 plus 2. 3, uh, three, 3 into 2 
okay sec second row second element is um, first row with second column 2 multiplied by 3 by 2 um, minus 3 because minus or 3 into minus 1 that is minus 3 right oh if you really want to do that yeah actually this minus become <laughs> yeah you understand so uh, this row with this column 4 multiplied by minus 5 by 2 plus 5 into 2 5 into 2 and lastly 4 into 3 by 2 4 into 3 by 2 plus 5 into minus 1 if you really want to do that I'm going to do it do it here too so what is this 2 to cancel minus 5 plus 6 3 into 2 is 6 that is 1 uh, what is here 2 2 to cancel 3 minus 3 because here it is a minus 1 3 minus 3 0 uh, 2 to cancel 2 into minus 5 plus 5 into 2 that is minus 10 plus 10 0 uh, 2 to cancel 2 into 3 is 6 6 minus 5 1 see so a into a inverse is the identity matrix of 2 right so uh, we have find the inverse of this matrix and if you really want to look at it again a inverse equals 1 by determinant of a 5 minus 3 minus 4 2 and what how we get this matrix we swapped the diagonal elements and the other two just change the sign positive into negative if it was negative here it will become positive here because negative of negative is positive but that was not the case here right so another example here okay so maybe another matrix B B equals 2 3 4 6 okay and if I want to find the B inverse I have look at the determinant here 6 de determinant of B is equal to 6 into 12 6 into 2 minus 3 into 4 3 into 4 that is equal to 12 minus 12 that is 0 see determinant here is 0 that is 1 by determinant of a part of the formula become 1 by 0 whoa we know that division by 0 is not defined okay so that means there is no inverse for this matrix no inverse F this matrix is actually there is a separate name for it it's called a singular matrix singular matrix because there is no determinant um, so uh, you have to check the determinant if, if the de determinant is 0 actually we can see that here you know the second row of this matrix is actually uh, two times the first row right so yeah so if, if the determinant is 0 the matrix has no uh, inverse or if the matrix is not a square matrix then that matrix has no inverse thank you